Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is busy finalizing our first optional bug fix series update for Windows 11 version 23H2. And the same update, KB5032288, is also rolling out to version 22H2. And the update is currently being tested with insiders in the release preview channel on Windows 11. And the version build upgrade for 22H2 will be build 2261.2787. And for version 23H2, the build will be 2261.2787 or somewhere in that immediate point release vicinity. Now the update, because it's uh, currently in final testing, should roll out over the next couple of days. And before we have a look at the four new features, mainly applying to Copilot, um, just to mention something on a side note, if you are running Windows 11 version 23H2, this update previews changes in Windows to comply with the Digital Markets Act in the European Economic Area. And I posted a whole video on that earlier today, and I'll leave a link to that video if you'd like to go check out those changes. Now, uh, three of the four new features are regarding Copilot, because as many of you will know, there's still a bit of work to do on Copilot. It's still in preview, even in the stable version. So uh, just to go through this, you can use Copilot in Windows across multiple displays now with this next update, which I think is a nice move. So basically what Microsoft says is that uh, press the Copilot in the Windows taskbar button on the taskbar of the display where you want Copilot in Windows to appear. And that's the long and the short of how that's going to work across multi-monitor setups. Then the next um, new feature regarding Copilot is it will now appear when you use Alt and Tab. Now, Alt and Tab, as many of you will know, is a shortcut preview of thumbnails and programs and apps you have open where you can just select those, uh, selecting the relevant thumbnail. Now, as you can see in the stable version, uh, if you use Alt and Tab, Copilot does not appear as one of those thumbnails. So um, when you press Alt and Tab now, the thumbnail preview of Windows Copilot uh, in the release preview channel now with that next optional update, uh, the Copilot now appears among the thumbnail previews of open windows. And then the third and final um, new feature for Copilot is that you can ask Copilot in Windows for help 10 times now when you sign into Windows using a local account. So you've only got uh, 10 um, chat responses and then after that you must sign in using a verified account. So although Microsoft is introducing Local account support, it's very limited at this stage, but nonetheless, they are starting to move in that direction, which is always a good thing. And then just a the fourth and final new feature, in the coming weeks, uh, Microsoft says, you might see a window spotlight set as the default background. This might occur when your background is set to an inbox Windows image. So window spotlight uh, is set to become the default background. Now, that's the new features, all four of them. And if you want to stick around, because this is a non-security bug fix update, it does include a good handful and plenty bug fixes. So I've just highlighted the, the most that I think you would be interested in for the purpose of this video. So if you want to stick around, then the first is that the update affects uh, the shortcut context menu. Apparently, uh, its performance is better when you open it on the desktop and in the file explorer. The update addresses an issue that affects .rar files. Apparently, they display as if they are empty in File Explorer, so that's been fixed. It also addresses an issue that affects apps that you download from the Microsoft Store. Apparently, they didn't uh, respond in and wouldn't update. And it also affects the Netherlands time zone. And then we get three Internet Explorer mode fixes. And Internet Explorer mode is a feature in Microsoft Edge, as many of you would know. And the update addresses app cursor issues. The cursor apparently changed from a hand to a cursor when it should not, or the cursor disappears. So that's a small yet, I think, a significant uh, fix. And if we just head over to our settings once again, and we head to personalization and dynamic lighting. Now, dynamic lighting is a feature that started rolling out with Moment 4. And uh, the update affects dynamic lighting. Apparently, um, it reduced the amount of power it uses on your device. So um, this is reducing the amount of power that dynamic lighting is using on your device, which I think is a nice move and a bit of a performance boost. And it also addresses an issue that might affect the cursor 
when you write in Japanese. And there's another cursor fix where it addresses an issue that affects the cursor. Apparently, it's movement lags in some screen capture scenarios. So two uh, cursor fixes rolling out there. And then we've got an audio fix where the update addresses an issue that affects the advanced audio coding, AAC for short decoder. So that's a nice fix. And it also addresses an issue that affects the systems setting settings application. So basically, that's your settings that's found uh, in Windows 11. And the update um, also improves how fast Copilot in Windows opens from the taskbar. So that's going to be a bit of a, a performance boost where um, you're going to see um, Windows Copilot, when you click on that taskbar button, it should open a lot quicker. And the update addresses a leak in volatile notifications. Apparently, this might stop you from signing into your machine, so that's a good thing. And the update addresses an issue that affects File Explorer. There are actually two more File Explorer fixes that have rolled out. The first one is when you press Shift and F10, the shortcut context menu does not open. And the, the second for File Explorer is addresses an issue that apparently when you do not expect them, uh, the windows, um, they appear in the foreground. So background windows appear in the foreground. So two small yet important fixes rolling out for File Explorer. And then we've got three more to go for the purpose of uh, today's video. And um, the update addresses an issue that affects the widgets notification badge in the bottom left of your taskbar. It is in the wrong position on the taskbar. So that's another small significant uh, um, patch. And then the update addresses an issue that affects Copilot. So lots going on with Copilot uh, in this next update because as I men have mentioned, it's still in preview. So obviously Microsoft trying to fix issues. So it addresses an issue that affects Copilot in Windows icon on the taskbar. Apparently, um, the icon does not show as active when Copilot in Windows is open. And then the final fix to mention is that there's an issue that was affecting Windows Sandbox. Um, apparently, if the locale of your machine is not US English, File Explorer stopped responding. So that's more or less a couple of the key highlights we can expect to see rolling out with our next optional bug fix C release update for both versions of Windows 11. And as mentioned, we should see that roll out, I would say, over the next week or two in the coming days. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.